Kolo Yehau Bashim Yahu Shai Shalom Tadasa David 144,000 Bayat And the one third men, women, children that are part of the elect, the church of the 12 tribes of Israel, you blacks, Latinos, Native Americans today. And it's deep because, um, real quick, I just want to put this clip. It's a quick 40 second clip, but it's deep because in this wicked ass church, here it is, um, there's a funeral. <clears throat> there's Ricky Harris who made fun of us, man, basically. The Hebrew Israelites, the brothers out there teaching the word of the Heavenly Father. And, uh, he basically made mockery, as brothers and sisters should know by now, Mike Epps and um, Ricky Harris did a mockery. And here it is in his funeral, right? All hell breaks loose even at his funeral. Because he made mockery of the word. The Most High took him out on Christmas Day, I believe. And the time of jolly and having a good time with your family. The satanic evil pagan holiday, the Most High took his ass out. He, stayed, he straight up took his ass out. <laughs> And in his funeral, there was a fight involving Snoop Dogg. I believe Daz or one of them, whatever. Somebody sn swung on him and all hell broke loose. It's only the most I don't play. Here it is. He mocking the word of the Heavenly Father. And look, that's that's a mockery, man. That's mockery. Here it is. You mock the word of the Heavenly Father. Most I push your ass to death. And then in your funeral, a fight breaks the fuck out, man. And and uh, Snoop Dogg, the crip, which all that red and blue is witchcraft anyway. You know, showing the Most High is not dealing with that shit, man. The Most High is not dealing with disrespect, man. You come against the word of the Heavenly Father, he's going to deal with you. He's going to see you. And then after this, Mike Epps, he did an apology on his Instagram. He took it down because he's having fear, man. Who knows what else he saw Ricky Harris go through and what he went through himself personally. And then, then, he, then he met up with the brothers from Los Angeles. And the brothers from Los Angeles cursed his ass out. Told his ass to repent, man. The Most High is not playing. The Most High gets the last laugh. The Most High gets the last laugh. The Most High, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, they get the last laugh, man. And all this, this is the year, and it's heavy that this happened, because this is going to be the year of all these scoffers and scorners and people coming against the word of the Heavenly Father, giving his men, the prophets, a hard time. You're going to start dropping like flies, man. And the Most High going to put you to death, and he's going to mock you. This is mockery right here. Here it is, Ricky Harris' funeral, and a fight breaks out at his funeral, man. You don't fuck with the word of the Heavenly Father, man. In the funeral. You don't think Mike Epps sees this and he's scared to death? This is scaring the shit out of Mike Epps, man. This right here is scaring the hell out of him, man. Just laugh now, you laugh. The <laughs> Lord said that Luke 6 chapter, man. Weep, laugh now, and you're going to weep later. So keep laughing. What that laughing you did for all these years? Come against the prophets, the elders on down. Guess what, man? You're going to weep. And the ones that weep, they're going to laugh. Tells you in Isaiah that, too. I believe 63rd chapter. Was it 66 or is it 65? It's Isaiah 63 or 65. It said, my servant shall eat and you shall thirst. You shall mourn, my servant shall laugh. So it's going to be a, a reversal, a role reversal, man. The whole hell is going to break loose. For all, you, for all these that come against the truth, the word of the Heavenly Father, our people that come against the word of the Heavenly Father, you come against his prophet, you disrespect his word, you mock his word. Judgment is coming for you, man. Heavy, heavy judgment is coming for your ass, man. Most High's not playing anymore. He's he never been playing, but now that heat is coming up on your ass, that judgment's gonna come. You better repent, man. Fear the Lord. Fear his words. Proverbs one twenty two. He's gonna laugh at your calamity, man.